Can we go out the window again? Okay. I don't eat. Then we go down here to the the brownies and the cake. Um um um. Then we have the peanuts and pretzels and more coffee cake. Then we have some tea and more brownies. Yum. There's Grandma. Then. Here we go to the heater and the bulletin board with a map. And then we come over here to the heater. It's very hot over here. Very, very hot. So let's go over here. And there's the window. Oh, and there's some more snacks. Look at those yummy, yummy bread, pretzels, brownies. And then we come back over here. So, here's down here Stephen's Ethan's unfinished juice box. Have some more food coolers. Then there's the door. Thank you for coming to the Crislin tour. Enjoy your night. This is Liz. She's gonna do a card trick for us. Yeah, I know. You probably know, but okay. No, it's not. Just putting it. Putting it in the front. Oh, check out. Hey. Hey. Take the cards. You can make them all around, put them in one pile, well, and give them to me. This is a double joint. Take them. Two cards. Mix them all together. Oh, I have to take some okay. cards now. I'll do my trick later. Okay. Okay, he put okay. the card in the deck. Now you know what your card was? Yeah. Is is this your card? Guess what? I don't know what that's called. No. I'm doing your card, card trick. You're the one that's doing it. This your card. Okay. Finish this food up. Four spades. Ready? Do it again. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 Let's play the game. Let's do this game. Well, she didn't say it's both. This is the Witch Project. Blair Witch Project. Help! Help! Where are we? <laughs> okay. There's my series. This is Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Mom, who made it all happen in my camera career. Emily, am I too close to the camera? Wait. No. Uh, you're she, so sweet. She I love you. You're beautiful. <laughs> she doesn't know about my Blair Witch Project, so don't tell her. I love you. Love you too. This is my beloved father. <laughs> he always supports me. He supports you. Yes, all the time. And then over here is... Harry and his daughter, Megan, and he supports her very much. So she doesn't fall down. Oh, yes, she does. Oh no, our house is burning down! Ah! This is the place! Wore his wolf suit. And made mischief of one kind and another. There's a dog. It's gone. His mother called him. Hey, Wild thing. Bob that. And Max said, I'll eat you up. I'll eat you up. So he was sent to your room without something. Bad boy. What about his 
and that very night in Max's room, a forest grew trees, great growth, one trees, and grew, and grew, and grew until a ceiling hung with vines. One vines. And the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat. Where's the boat? For Max. And he sailed off through night and day, and in and out of weeks, and almost over a year, to where the world And when he came to the place where the
Thank you. The kids thank you. You know the kids. Hi, this is Uncle Scott, and this is Aunt Susie. Good morning. Good morning. Well, it's early, and everybody's just finished oh. breakfast. There's Ethan. There's Wilson's head. There's John sipping his tea. We have Bernie. Okay, we're doing now. And then here's Ethan. Ethan! Yeah. Hi! Hi! Not backwards. Oh, you're There's Laura, his mom. Say hi! Hi! We use a sleepy pie. Let's just go up here. There's Lori. Hi, Lori. And here's Justin. Justin? Hi, Justin. And there's the grandma. And Uncle Mark. I'm him. And then, look at all these beautiful trees. Wow. And this, Emily, is an arrow. And so this arrow. Cool. That's good. Mm. Um, look at all this cheese. Someone. Is that you? Um, um, I don't know. Down there by our cars. Look at that bright tree just standing out in front of nothing. Oh, it's good. Woo! We're up against that very leaf. I think that's neat. See, I'm standing in one spot, but you can see so close up to the tree. Woo! Okay. Over here we have, oh, let's see who just pulled up. What do we have here? A car? And there's Perry. And there's our stumbling. Look at all these leaves. This could be a gigantic, gigantic uh, leaf pool. And here's the side of our cabin. And the heater. And there's Ashley and Megan's truck packing up. Let's get a close up on those leaves. Look at those. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful all those leaves are. Every single detail. Wow. What a thing. Let's walk out. Look at all these trees. Trees, trees, and more trees. Ah, so many trees. Sorry about that. Here's our way into our cabin. Let's go in here. Next, John put his hands in the mouse turns because there's a mouse in there. Yeah, look at the mouse turns. Yeah, the mouse turns. Where? Checking out all this. And the paper. There's a mouse. Yeah, there's a mouse in there. Yeah, mouse in mouse. here. Sister Ashley and I. They're sticking arrows on their head. Let's get back to them. And look, look at, at Olivia. Olivia. Look at Olivia. Where's Olivia playing the symbols? Do the symbols, girl. Get to your studies. They read her checking account. There's Perry.
We have forgotten who we are. We have forgotten who we are. We have alienated ourselves from the unfolding of the cosmos. We have become estranged from the movements of the earth. We have turned our backs on the cycles of life. We have forgotten who we are. We have sought only our own security. We have exploited simply for our own ends. We have distorted our knowledge. We have abused our power. We have forgotten who we are. Now the land is barren and the waters are poisoned and the air is polluted. We have forgotten who we are. Now the forests are dying and the creatures are disappearing and humans are despairing. We have forgotten who we are. We ask forgiveness. We ask for the gift of remembering. We ask for the strength to change. We have forgotten who we are. I'll be reading from Genesis, the first book of Genesis. Um, it's the, obviously, the story of creation. In the beginning, when God created the universe, the earth was formless and desolate. The raging ocean that covered everything was engulfed in total darkness, and the power of God was moving over the water. Then God commanded, Let there be light, and the light appeared. God was pleased with what he saw. Then he separated the light from the darkness, and he named the light day, and the darkness night. Evening passed, and morning came. That was the first day. Then God commanded, Let there be a dome to divide the water and to keep it into two separate places. And it was done. So God made a dome, and it separated the water under it from the water above it. He named the dome sky. Evening passed, and morning came. That was the second day. Then God commanded, Let the water below the sky come together in one place, so that the land will appear. And it was done. He named the land earth, and the water which had come together he named sea. And God was pleased with what he saw. Then he commanded, Let the earth produce all kinds of plants, that those that bear grain and those that bear fruit. And it was done. So the earth produced all kinds of plants, and God was pleased with what he saw. Evening passed, and morning came. That was the third day. Then God commanded, Let lights appear in the sky to separate day from night, and to show the time when days, years, and religious festivals begin. They will shine in the sky to give light to the earth, and it was done. So God made the two larger lights, the sun to rule over the day and the moon to rule over the night. He also made the stars. He placed the lights in the sky to shine on the earth and to rule over the day and the night and to separate light from darkness. And God was pleased with what he saw. Evening passed and morning came. That was the fourth day. Then God commanded, let the water be filled with many kinds of living beings and let the air be filled with birds. So God created the great sea monsters, all kinds of creatures that live in the water, and all kinds of birds. And God was pleased with what he saw. He blessed them all and told the, cre the creatures that live in the water to reproduce and to fill the sea. And he told the birds to increase in number. Evening passed and morning came. That was the fifth day. Then God commanded, let the earth produce all kinds of animals, life, domestic and wild, large and small. It was done. So God made them all, and he was pleased with what he saw. Then God said, and now we will make human beings. They will be like us and resemble us. They will have power over the fish, the birds, and all animals, domestic and wild, large and small. So God created human beings, making them to be like himself. He created them male and female, blessed them and said, have many children so that your descendants will live all over the earth and bring it under their control. I am putting you in charge of the fish, the birds, and all the wild animals. I have provided all kinds of grain and all kinds of fruit for you to eat. But for all the wild animals and for all the birds, I have provided grass and leafy plants for food. And it was done. God looked at everything he had made, and he was very pleased. Evening passed, morning came. That was the sixth day. Like you all to join us in the
Once long ago, yet some, once long, long ago, yet somehow not so lo very long ago, when all the animals and rocks and wind and waters and trees and birds and fish, all and all the beings of the world could speak and understand one, eno one another. The beginning, an argument. It began so softly at first, quiet as the breeze that whispered. He is the wind who is never still. Quiet as some stone answered. He is the great rock that never moves. Gentle as the mountains, mountain that rumbled. God is a snowy peak high above the clouds. And the fish in the ocean that answered, God is a swimmer in the dark blue depths of the sea. No, said the star, God is a twinkling and shining far, far away. No, replied the ant, God is a sound and a smell and a feeling. He was very, very close. God insisted the, God insisted the antelope is a runner, swift and free, who loves to leap and race with the wind. She is a great tree, murmured the, murmured the willow, a part of the world, a long growing and a long living giving. And you are wrong, agreed Aunt, the island. God is a separate and a part. God is a little shining sun, far above all things, added the blue sky. No, but he is a river. He flows through the very heart of things, thundered the waterfall. She is a hunter, roared the lion. God is a God is gentle, chimpered the robin. God is powerful, growled the bear, and the argument grew louder, louder, and louder until Stop! And a new voice spoke. It rumbled loudly like thunder, and it whispered softly like butterfly sneezes. The voice seemed to come from why is it seemed to come from an Old turtle, old turtle, hardly even said anything, and certainly never argued Mom? about God. But now the old turtle began to speak. God is in deep, deep. <clears throat> she said to the fish in the sea, and much higher than high. She told the mountains. He is swift and free as the wind and still and solid like the great rocks. She said to the breezes and the stones, she is the life of the world. Turtle said to the will, always close by, yet beyond. The farthest twinkling light, she told the ant and the star. God is gentle powerful above all things and within all things. God is is all that we dream of and all that we seek, said the old turtle, and all that we come from and all that we can find. God is. The old turtle had never said so much before. All the beings of the world were surprised and became very quiet. But old turtle had one more thing to say. There will soon be a new family of beings in the world, she said and they will all be strange and wonderful. They will be reminders of all that God is. They will come in many different colors and shapes with different faces and different ways of speaking. Their thoughts will soar through the stars and their feet will walk the earth. They will possess many powers. They will be strong yet tender. The message of love from God to the earth and the prayer from God back to God. And the people came. But the people forgot. They forgot that they were a message of love and the prayer from the earth. And they began to argue about who knew God and who did not, and where God was and where he was not and whether God was or was not. Then often the people misused their powers to hurt one another or, or kill one another. And they hurt the earth until finally even the forest began to die. <coughs> and the rivers, and the oceans, and the plants and animals, and the earth itself, because 
because the people could not remember who they were or where God was. Until one day there came a voice, like a growling thunder, but as soft as butterflies wings. Please stop. The voice seemed to come from the mountain who rumbled. Sometimes I see God swimming in the dark blue depths of the sea. And from the ocean who sighed, he is often among the snow-capped peaks reflecting the sun. And the stone who said, I sometimes feel her breathe through the water and as she blows by. And from the breeze who whispered, I feel his still presence as I dance among the rocks. And the star declared, God is very close. And all the islands added, his love touches everything. And after a long, lonesome, and scary time, the people listened and began to hear and to see God in one another. And the beauty of all the earth and then the old turtle smiled. And so did God. He was with God. 